Well, while some local restaurants have been forced to adjust the way they do business, the stark reality is some may be on the brink of closing their doors. In this report, our Kelsey Johnson takes a look at how a few of them are faring. The doors to local restaurants are expected to reopen on July 1st with indoor and outdoor dining. But will it be business as usual? Co-owner of Greycliff Restaurant, Roberta Gazzarali, said there will be a few operational changes at the five-star restaurant located on West Hill Street. Patrons can expect to see different menu options as the company tries to tie in the different components and adjust to the new norm. Our kitchen staff has been pretty much doing it because they've been working on these pasta Fridays. We're, you know, rigorous cleaning, extra cleaning, I should say, more than just regular. Um, wearing gloves, masks, and the works. Um, at, you know, we offer also various activities around here. So those are going to be modified slightly. Their groups are going to be smaller, or we may be limiting just to certain family groups. We're, you know, working with our partners because some of the tours are in partnership with like True Bahamian Food Tours and Island Tours. They do walk through tours through Great Cliff and do different tastings at different locations. So we're working on all kinds of different elements of doing things. So it's a it's a continuous work in progress. Only two of Titan Hospitality's six restaurants are open and only one Latitudes on East Bay Street offers outside dining. The group of companies includes Mesa Grill, Swimming Pigs, Smugglers, Wreckers, Chippies, Fish and Chips, and Latitudes. Curbside and delivery are available at Mesa Grill and Latitudes. At the minute we are struggling. Uh, it's a case of we can't get enough people through the door because of the curfew. The curfew is at 9 p.m. Most people dine out around 6, 7 o'clock and it doesn't give us enough time to get enough guests into the restaurant. Curbside pickup was okay. Craven are doing really well with helping push that, but we're still not getting enough traction from the curbside pickups. We need to get guests back into the restaurants. Uh, obviously, it's a big burden on all of our staff. We need to have near enough 500 Bahamians who work for us. Uh, it's not great having to message them every day saying that we are trying to, but the restrictions that are placed on us won't allow us to bring more staff back at the minute. Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis announced in his budget communication Monday that indoor dining at restaurants can resume with maximum seating based on 50% occupancy with physical distancing, mask wearing and sanitization protocols in place. Restaurants were forced to close their doors mid-March and reopen for curbside pickup and delivery services in May. These restaurant owners admit the 9 p.m. curfew placed a damper on their business. Latitude, because we've got the front and the back, we roughly can get about 60 people in at one time. Uh, but again, that all depends on the timing. At the minute, because 9 o'clock is the curfew, people can't order food and enjoy the food. We've got to get them back to 11, 12 o'clock so that they can actually come out, enjoy themselves and not always be watching the watch. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Network News.